What's up everybody, EJ here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the top tips and gestures to help you work more efficiently inside of Procreate. Now you might be wondering, EJ, I thought you were a 3D guy. Why are you talking about Procreate? I'll tell you why, just one second. I'm gonna get my iPad here, and I'm gonna get my finger, and I'm gonna tap right on here, and I'm gonna, well, that's a 3D object, my friends. 3D object inside of Procreate. This is my Apple Pencil. This is me drawing directly on my 3D model inside of Procreate. So this is a game changer for 3D artists because now you can directly paint on your model inside of Procreate. And so that's why it's going to be relevant for you to learn some of these gestures and tips to get the best, most efficient workflows out of Procreate. So if I wanted to undo that little blob right there, I'm just gonna tap twice to undo. If I wanted to redo that, I would tap three fingers Okay, so things like that. Now if I want to navigate around, you can see that with one finger I can orbit. Now if I want to use two fingers, I can pinch to zoom in there. And I can also use two fingers and kind of rotate like that. So super cool. You can also sample a color by using one finger, tapping and holding, and that'll bring up my color picker. And now I can sample a color, load up that black color, and start drawing with that. If I want to paint on, say, this other object, I'm just going to tap on it, and now I can paint on that. Uh, outer mask part. Man, this is this is hard to do uh, upside down. But this video specifically is going to be covering all those types of tips. Now, if you want to have a comprehensive look at soup to nuts, how do I get a 3D model? How do I prep it? How do I get it out of, say, Cinema 4D or Blender? Get it into Procreate and set myself up for success? Well, I definitely recommend you check out my comprehensive Procreate 3D tutorial up on School of Motion's YouTube covers everything. Again, soup to nuts from Cinema 4D. How do you export? How do you UV unwrap? Because you actually need to have a somewhat decent UV unwrap to be able to get a proper model that you can then paint on in Procreate. And I'll tell you how you can actually paint on your model, how to use all the different channels, roughness, metallic, how to get your model back out of Procreate and into your 3D app again, so you can then go ahead and render with Redshift, Octane, whatever. So again, this is gonna be covering the top gestures and stuff. You want that comprehensive tutorial, go on the School of Motion YouTube page. But let's go ahead and let's cover all of those top gestures and tips to help you work more efficiently inside of Procreate. Let's check it out. Now, if your drawing skills are terrible like mine, you can turn your scribbles into perfect shapes by holding the pencil still at the end of the shape and it will create that shape. Hold down one finger to make a perfect shape and click on the edit shape button to have more fine tuned control. Now this trick works for a bunch of different types of shapes and even allows you to draw straight lines. Speaking of lines, if you want to add fills but want to keep your line work intact, use reference layers. First click on the layer you want to use as reference, then create a new layer. Next we can fill that new layer by using the line work reference layer by clicking on the color chip and dragging it onto our layer. You'll see that it'll fill our shape using the line work, but it'll keep the line work layer intact. Now to merge layers, give them a little pinch. And to bring up your copy and paste and duplicate menu, swipe down with three fingers. Now you can click duplicate and flip horizontal to create the other eye. And one of the cool things about Procreate is you can actually edit and grunge up the roughness and metallic channels. And one way to easily adjust these shiny properties is going into your brightness and contrast and just adjusting that brightness. And it's using the black and white values of that mat to adjust, say, the roughness channel on that specific layer. Now, if you totally want to reset or clear a layer, just go ahead, click on the layer, hit clear. Another way to do this is by selecting the eraser tool and then taking three fingers and swiping back and forth and that will then clear that selected layer. And to undo your last action, just tap with two fingers to undo. Trust me, you'll be undoing a lot. In Procreate, you have the option to either draw on a single layer or multiple layers. To draw on multiple layers, select the first layer, hold down the square button on the left, and then select the second layer, and then you will have both layers selected, and you can draw on both of them at once. Look at my amazing art. Now, if you want to check out my full tutorial on how to get up and running with Procreate 3D, be sure to head over to the School of Motion YouTube channel, where you will find my full breakdown of how to use Cinema 4D and Procreate to draw directly on your 3D models. All right, so there you go, my top tips for working more efficiently inside of Procreate. And I'd be interested if you've been using Procreate for a while, were there any tips that I covered that were new to you? Would love to hear 
about that in the comments. And if there's a tip that you thought I should have covered, but I didn't, definitely call those out in the comment section as well. Now, if I can leave you with, especially my 3D artist friends out there, with any advice, it's that if you're using Procreate for the first time because of this 3D stuff, I think you should have been using it even for the 3D functionality because I'll tell you what, if you sketch out your ideas first before jumping into a 3D app, you can really let your creativity go wild and start iterating and really be free thinking without the constraints of how can I technically achieve this because I don't know about you, when I jump into a 3D app and I try to start modeling or something, I start getting barriers put in front of me because it's like, well, I want to do this thing, but I don't know how, so I'm not going to do that. Or your brain's not even thinking outside the box. So that's why I've been loving using Procreate just for sketching, not even just, you know, making textures or materials and stuff like that, because it's really allowed my brain and my creativity to, again, go free without limitations. I'm not thinking about the technical aspects. And again, I can do this on my couch and be creative and not be in front of my computer all day long. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Again, if you want to get that comprehensive tutorial on how to get up and running in Procreate, importing your models and painting, all the tips that you would need to be successful working in 3D in Procreate, definitely check out that comprehensive tutorial on the School of Motion YouTube page. It covers everything, soup to nuts, will get you up and running. And I can't wait to see what you all create with Procreate and the 3D capabilities that were just added. So as always, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you here again real soon. Bye everybody.